वेलकम बैक टू माई व्यूज एंड न्यूज वायल प्रोटेस आर ऑन गोइंग अक्रॉस अम्हारा रीजन अ न्यू कॉन्फ्लिक्ट इज इमर्जिंग विच कुड पिट ओरोमोज अगेंस्ट अम्हाराज और अम्हाराज अगेंस्ट ओरोमोज इन अम्हारा रीजन वी हैव डिटेल्स फॉर यू सेकेंडली व्यूअर्स नाउ रिपोर्ट्स आर कमिंग इन अबाउट डेथ्स ऑफ सिविलियंस इन द कॉन्फ्रेंटेशन बिटवीन Ethiopian National Defence Force and uh, protesters in the Amhara region uh, a youth from a family which has a history of fighting against Italians died in Gajam and at least three casualties of civilians in Kobo are being confirmed and thirdly Tigray's two opposition parties issued a joint statement yesterday Salsi Bujene and TIP the two parties lashed out at the tplf and at kathachos interim administration as well uh, firstly viewers robian special zone north show zone of the amhara region are inhabited by oromos and amharas oromos li- live in large numbers there and uh, we have seen off and on fighting in these two zones whenever uh fighting broke out in these uh, zones we saw conflicting narratives built by uh groups and news outlets from the amhara and oromia regions amhara region based groups they have been claiming that uh, oromo liberation army and uh, Oromia PP uh, have been arming Volo Oromos, and these Volo Oromos attack Amhara security forces and attack local Amharas. On the other hand, uh, Oromia region-based groups and news outlets they report that uh, uh, Volos, innocent, uh, unarmed Volos, are targeted by Amhara security forces and Amhara militias in North Show Zone and. from a special zone of the amhara region and uh, i think uh, i have reported twice or thrice in the last one year or so about fighting in these areas now once again uh, reports are coming in about ongoing exchange of gunfire near ataye and senbate mainly in romia special zone of amhara region both sides are confirming uh, amhara and oromia news sources that gunfire happened it happened uh, in two cables which are between senbate and atai the two cables are uh, alale and derch so both sides confirming the exchange of gunfire but uh, who is the perpetrator and who is the victim here the two sides are reporting uh, differently romia media network is reporting that uh, innocent uh, unarmed uh, civilians volo oromos are being targeted by amhara special force and uh, amhara pano other militias why because uh, amhara special force is being dismantled that is why anger uh, is being taken out on uh, volos and Ago, volo oromos and agos on the other hand two days ago i received a report from romia uh, a very trusted source contacted me he said sajid in the next two days you Uh, would see a conflict between volo oromos oromia special zone north zone oromos and amharas he said that uh, uh, oromos are being launched uh, by oromia government oromos living in north shua uh, oromia special zone of the amhara region so he was uh, right on the money conflict started today 
it's difficult to say who is shooting, who are the victims there, but this conflict can pit Oromos against Amharas, which would be very unfortunate because this issue of dismantlement of Amhara special force should not take an ethnic turn. Though we have seen slogans chanted against Adis, uh, against uh, Oromia PP, against uh, Oromos at some protests uh, in Amhara region, uh, protests are still ongoing. But if this uh, fighting in Oromia special zone or Nosho zone escalates, you could see direct confrontation between uh, Oromos living in Amhara region and ethnic Amharas. That is why let, let's hope that this conflict uh, is resolved somehow. Secondly, viewers, uh, deaths of civilians are now being confirmed in the protests where Ethiopian army was confronted by civilians who were protesting. They blocked main roads. Ethiopian army tried to open the blocked road. That led to start of a confrontation, start of a gunfire as well. Three casualties in Kobo are being reported. In Kobo, some members of Ethiopian National Defense Force died too. In Gajam as well, some members of Ethiopian National Defense Force died too because uh, protesters uh, threw stones at vehicles of uh, ENDF. Some vehicle was set on fire. Three ENDF members died uh, in this confrontation and one protester's death is being confirmed in Gajam. And he is from a well-known family. Uh, his name is uh, Abate Masifene. And uh, he died in Miravi. Miravi is in Gajam. Miravi, I think, is the hometown of Zamina Kasi, uh, Amhara Fano commander who is in prison. And uh, uh, Abate's grandfather fought against Italians in Gajam. And he fought alongside uh, Balazalake as well, a legendary freedom fighter. Uh, and now he has died fighting uh, Ethiopian government forces in Miravi Kajam reportedly. So casualties on both sides are being reported. Uh, Ethiopian government soldiers killed too and some civilians. Lastly, was Tigray's two opposition parties issued a joint statement yesterday. Tigray Independence Party and Salsi Vujene are accusing the Tigray interim government of Gatacho that it is basically an extension of TPLF. That basically TPLF is in power. It's not an impartial, transparent setup put in place in Tigray. The two parties say that TPLF is working for its own survival. It is working to protect its own interests. It has nothing to do with the protection of uh, interests of the people of Tigray uh, region. People of Tigray should stand behind Salsi Bujene and Tigray Independence Party. TPLF has, uh, uh, TPLF has no regard for uh, Tigrayans. It is not serious in pursuing the case uh, for human rights abuses committed in Tigray. No accountability. TPLF is changing position on international investigations. That is why people should learn, people of Tigray, you should stand behind TIP and Salsi uh, I think this is a narrative which has been adopted by these parties because the parties are going into election. This is election mode, election preparation mode in Tigray. The two parties need to have a political narrative to attract voters. Why would people vote for these parties? They will only vote if these parties succeed in proving that TPLF is a failure. In the last two years, TPLF was a total failure. That is why this narrative has been adopted by these two parties that interim government is basically uh, an extension of TPLF. Now, it does not mean that the parties don't have uh, their due political space, uh, that they shouldn't have their due political space. Is Gatacho giving due political space to opposition parties? That we'll see in coming days. So far, 
categorize opposition parties are in a way rejecting get the chose government calling it not transparent calling it extension of the tplf Bethona has joined uh, get the chose government Bethona, though it is split there are some divisions within the party uh, but uh, get the chose government tplf has succeeded in dividing opposition at least one party is at the cabinet Bethona. two parties are now genuine opposition parties but can they strike any blow to TPLF's political standing in Tegarai by launching this narrative. That we'll see. It's not a new narrative uh, adopted by these parties. They have been accusing TPLF since the signing of Pretoria deal. But how far this narrative uh, will be accepted by the people of Tegarai we'll see in coming months, especially uh, on voting day but it remains to be seen how uh, transparent uh, the next election is going to be especially the process leading to the next election is Gatacho going to give level playing field to opposition parties after such uh, strong statements let's see thank you for watching